Yeah. Hello, man. Thank sure you. used off a lot of energy there, Miguel. Not enough. I don't know how you have the energy to volunteer as director here at the youth center after working your shift as a cop. Well, I'd have a lot more energy if I wasn't wasting time with the likes of Sheridan Crane in court. Yeah. How'd that go this morning? This crane got 100 hours of community service. I just pity the poor people who have to deal with her. But at least I won't see her again. So tell me about your girl. I wish I could call Charity my girl. Her mom's making her move. I'll never see her again. Hey! What's that Lopez Fitzgerald fighting spirit? I mean, what makes you so sure you'll never see her again? I just know. It's like something's trying to keep us apart. Someone's trying to keep you and Charity apart. Who? I don't know, Luis. I'm not even sure it's a someone. It's just a feeling I get. It's like there's some force that's trying to keep us apart. Force? You've seen that new Star Wars movie too many times, Miguel. Anyway, whatever it is, it's working. Her mom's taking her away. I'll never see her again. No, I'm sorry. I mean, you can always keep in touch through email. Yeah, I guess. But how long will that last? I mean, when two people never see you. Come on, Miguel. I mean, you guys just met. I mean, what, you've only seen her a couple times. I know. We haven't even been on a real date. Or even kissed. But we had something together that was different than anything I'd ever felt before. I mean, Charity is special. Yeah, I'm sorry, I didn't realize you felt that strongly about her. I do. I didn't mean to be a jerk. Just been strung out over Sheridan Crane all morning. Hey, you're not hung up on her, though. Hung up? No way. I'm sorry I even brought up her name. I mean, bro, what you have with Charity is totally different. I've never heard you talk about a girl like this before. I told you, Charity is special. I just wish we could have found her mother's twin sister. Her mother's twin sister? Yeah, if we found her, then Charity and her mom wouldn't have to move away. They can move the harmony in. And Charity and I could be together. I never knew life would be so unfair. Well, unfortunately, life isn't fair. So many things I didn't have time to find out about Charity. Things I wanted to do with her. Memories I wanted to make with her. Jeez, man, you've definitely been hit by the love bug. More like punched in the gut. Well, I gotta get home. Mom asked me to fix the front door, though. Here. Look, man, if it makes you feel any better, Mom always says if two people are meant to be together, they will. But they don't let anything stand in their way. I hope she's right. Well, Mom is a bright lady. Yeah, she is. Have you ever met anyone that made you feel this way, Louise? Me, no. The only way a woman made me feel recently is ticked off. She better steer way clear of me. <laughs> and you guys keep practicing your free throws. Okay, Louis. When did you blow in the past? Just now. So? Did you find fame and fortune? No, not yet. I thought there's somewhere, though, waiting for me. So you keep saying. So what are you doing back in Harmony? Well, I needed to build a new nest egg, and I thought I'd see my family and friends before I take off to parts unknown again. Yeah? Sam, know you're back? No, I haven't seen my big brother yet. Hmm. But I hear he's a new chief of police. Yeah, damn good one, too. I'm not surprised. He's always headed for the top. I I could never stay in one place long enough. You ever get sick of traveling around all the time? Nope. It's just the opposite. The more I see of the world, the more I want to see. I'm still searching for the pot of gold. Hey, it's out there. It's out there. All I have to do is find it. Yours is out there, too, Luis. It'll have to wait. Do you really want to spend your whole life in a dull little town like Harmon? I don't want life. But right now, my major concern is my family. They're my number one priority. Oh, that's commendable, Louise. <laughs> guy's got to have some fun, though. 
Who are you dating these days? Anyone I know? No one special. Well, I've only been back in town an hour, and I've already met a babe. I'm talking major babe. Ooh, I'm surprised <laughs> you haven't staked her out for yourself. <laughs> Yo. All right, so who's this major babe? I know just about every girl in Harmony. I didn't get her name. <laughs> Some Romeo you are. Maybe you know her. She was on her way in here. Really? About what? Beats me. I... Do you... Were you expecting anyone? No. So tell me about this girl, you know. Outside of her babehood, I mean. Oh, she's nice. Very nice. And I'd say from her clothes and her car, she's got money. Do you know any beautiful women with money? Yeah. I do know one. But this is the last place she'd ever show up, and I'm the last guy she'd ever want to see. Good, then the road's wide open for me. She wasn't wearing a ring, so I definitely have a chance. Yeah, well, if it's the girl I'm thinking about, she won't want anything to do with anyone from our side of the tracks. Oh, oh. 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 who's the man? Gee, just like you did in high school. Oh, no way, dude. I've got the lucky touch. And you know what they say, lucky in basketball, lucky in love. Yeah, well, if that's the case, I'm never going to win a game. Oh, come on, all that's gonna change now that I'm back. I'm gonna make you lighten up and stop working overtime oh. and stop spending so much time here. And worry about your family. You and man are gonna learn how to party. I know how to party. I mean, seriously party. And it won't be easy, but I'm gonna find someone for you. Of course, I'll have my rich girlfriend and we can party at her mansion. Better yet, I'll marry her and we can party at my mansion. Dream on. Look, I gotta get some stuff for the kids. You wanna hang here until I get back? Sure. I'll be here to greet Miss Wright when she walks through the door. You're crazy. <laughs> hey, Chief. Hey, Luis. Just ran into Sheridan Train. Hope you don't mean literally. Woman's a menace in a vehicle. Nah, she was on her way over to do some community service. Let me tell you, she's no big fan of yours. Suits me fine. The less I see of that woman, the better. And I got some news for you. Yeah, what's up? Brother Hank's back in town. Hank? <laughs> You're kidding. What kind of trouble is he going to get into this time? 